Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a jewellery collection video. I have actually done a blog post on some of my fave jewellery pieces. I'll leave that down below if you want to have a look at that as well. But I just thought I'd come on here and do a little bit of like a talky chatty video about some of my favourite pieces. I always get asked where my jewellery is from. I have a very specific uh, taste in jewellery I would say. I really like gold jewellery. I don't wear silver jewellery really at all like I have some silver pieces but they're rarity when I was younger I was very much into silver jewellery I thought it was really cool when I was more into um, I guess my like scene kid emo phase I was very much into silver chunky jewellery and um, it wasn't until I was probably about 22 that I realised I have very warm skin and very yellow undertones and silver was making me look quite pale and a bit drained like it didn't bring life to my skin so I swapped to wearing gold jewellery and since then I've figured out that gold jewellery is better suited to my skin tone as a rule if you have like pink undertones to your skin I think silver works better and if you have like more olive skin gold works better but um, I think you know wear whatever you like but like personally I feel like gold brings my skin colour makes it pop a little bit more than silver does so you do you but I prefer gold jewellery as a rule just for me personally also the only things that I have that are pretty much permanent and not gold are my like facial piercings or my permanent piercings because they are surgical steel so my uh, septum ring my nose ring um, and then my ear piercings, they're all surgical steel, so they're all like chrome silver colour. So I just want to talk quickly about my jewellery storage. I actually got this jewellery box from Sass and Bell recently and I just thought oh, it's a little bit dusty. It is just so pretty, it matches in with my decor really nicely and it's like a um, woven wooden box and it has like a, oh I don't want to tip it over too much, it has like um, a glass little panel on the front so you can see right into it and it also has like a clasp then when you open it it has one two three four six compartments so you have like four small compartments two big compartments i'll leave a link for this down below if you fancy shopping it but i really really like this one i think it's really spacious and i love that it has a lid but you can also see where everything is inside so if i'm looking for a particular piece i can look like inside and be like ah, okay it is in there um so that's really handy i also have these ring holders that i've had for i've had these for probably about five years i love these ring holders they're from anthropology and they're just little crystal ring holders with a little gold base and they just sit and hold your rings um <laughs> so usually i'll put them on top of my jewelry box um, on display and I just think that it looks really cute. So that is how I store my jewelry and I thought I would talk you through some of my favourite pieces category by category. If I can link any of this it will all be down below um, and if not I'll link some really similar pieces because a lot of this I've had for a very long time so alright let's get into it. Okay so I thought I would firstly talk about the jewellery that I'm currently wearing because this is very me day like this is a very usual everyday look for me so i actually wear these big chunky hoops an awful awful lot they are from asos they are sterling silver with gold plating and they don't go green which i absolutely love a lot of the things i'm going to talk to you guys about are silver with gold plating because they just don't um like tarnish and you don't have that like green horrible tinge to everything so i've had these for years as well probably about a year and a bit maybe maybe um and they look just as cute i really 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 like them the second piercing i have is just like a basic um clear jewel huggy which is also really cute those are from screen pretty they're from screen pretty and i absolutely love them they're in pretty much all the time and i love them i think they're absolutely fab and also these necklaces I pretty much every day. They're both from Daisy Jewelry. One is like a chain, which you can adjust to make like tighter. This is the longest it goes, but you can also make it into like a choker. And then this one, which is adjustable as well, that's on the longest setting as well. Cause I just like them to like hang when I have a basic top on. And yeah, this is 
a usual setup for me. It's very gold, quite simplistic. I really like the way it looks. It's a little bit mismatchy, which I really, really like, like the chunky and the dainty. And yeah, I really, really like that. So yeah, this is sort of my usual everyday jewelry get up. Right, okay, so I thought I'd share some of my fave earrings with you guys because I do have like a, a few sets of earrings that I wear all the time. And and then I have a few sets of earrings I totally forget that I have and then when I realize I have them I'm like okay right um, I need to start changing up what I'm wearing so if you notice on Instagram I probably wear these like 90% of the time because they are so easy to wear I'll add little inserts because there's no way you guys are gonna see this, them like this but these are like the cutest little twisted hoops from Daisy Jewelry. Again, they're sterling silver with gold plating, and I really absolutely love them. They are just the perfect everyday hoop that's a little bit of something something. They have that lovely twisted style, and they're not exactly like a circular hoop. They're like a square shape hoop, which I love. They look so vintage, but they're not too big and dangly. You can wear them without feeling like with these you can feel that they're there, but these you don't feel like they're there at all. I absolutely love them for everyday wear. I also have these which I get com like compliments on all the time when I wear them out. They're from Screen Pretty and I think they're called the Opal Starburst earring. And they're like a little huggy with dangly little starbursts with little opals in the middle. And I have the originals as well but I don't know where those have gone. But these are the ones with the opals on and I really like them. They have a very satisfying click because they click together and I really like those. I get comments on these when I wear them all the time. People always ask me where they're from and these ones are also sterling silver and gold plated. I really, really like them. I've had them for a year, a year and a bit and they haven't tarnished or anything at all. Fantastic quality. I also have, oh, let's talk about these ones because I do feature these ones a lot. If you've seen me on YouTube at all before or like Instagram, you'll definitely have seen these. They are little initial earrings. They've got like the initial charms on them. These are from Lily Charmed and basically you can get just the earrings alone and then have your own charm. So you can have like two letters or like two different letters or a letter and a charm, a letter and a charm, like a letter and a gem or, or something like that. And I think that that's really cute and customizable, really good quality. I've had these for ages as well, no tarnishing. They look brand new, they look fantastic. And yeah, I would really highly, highly recommend these. I think they're a great gift as well. So you're looking to get someone like a nice jewelry gift. These are fantastic because they're personalizable. Another dangly huggy because I seem to be obsessed with dangly huggies. So these ones are from Daisy Jewelry and they're little shells. I really, really like them. They are so similar to the initial drop earrings that I have, but they've got like a dainty little shell on the front. And again, these are sterling silver with gold plating and I really, really love the look of these. The one thing I would say is that the shell itself is very um, thin. So on one of them, they've actually um, <laughs> distorted a little bit and it doesn't like run freely on the jewelry anymore. Like it doesn't hang properly, but you, know, you can't tell when I'm actually wearing it, but just like looking at it, yeah, the shell could have been a little bit thicker or the hole could have been a bit bigger. But all in all, I really love the look of these. They also go really nicely with other shell jewelry that I'll show you later. But yeah, love those as well. Certainly here for like an understated hoop because I feel like it's just such a dainty way to add a little bit of sparkle. So these ones are from Screen Pretty also and they're a little bar type drop earring so they're like a hoop but they have a really elongated look almost like a rectangle so they hang almost like a little drop but they're a hoop really really like these i get compliments on these all the time as well i think it's because they have a little bit of sparkle running down them but it's just a nice way of adding like a little bit of something to an outfit without going um the whole hog and adding like these massive earrings they're a really dainty little earring and perfect for adding to an outfit if you don't want to add like big massive hoops but you want to make a statement. They look so nice with a like satin skirt, satin dress situation. Very dainty, very pretty. I absolutely love these for wearing on like date nights and stuff like that. Really, really cute. Okay, so next up is ear cuffs. So I used to wear ear cuffs all the time. If I can find some pictures on Instagram where I'm clearly wearing ear cuffs, I'll pop them here. But um, yeah, I used to wear ear cuffs all the time and I loved them. One thing that used to get a little bit annoying though was when I was out shooting in London and you're constantly like 
obviously changing your clothes I would lose these so so easily because they're only just like hooked onto your ear so I would be in London shooting and I'd come back without any ear cuffs on because they'd all fallen off throughout the day and some of these were quite expensive so I just started not wearing them as much I probably will start wearing them a little bit more now that I'm looking at them and I'm like oh, I really wish I wore those more so I think I'll wear them a little bit more but yeah it was a little bit saddening to go and shoot in London and then come back with like no earrings so yeah that is why I haven't been wearing them recently but I do still really really love ear cuffs they're a great alternative for if you don't want to pierce your ears I actually had that piercing where these go so basically if I take one you literally just slide them up your ear and hook them on and they're on like this um, I had two piercings where this one sits and they just my body just rejected them and I have a lot of scarring there now so I won't get those re-pierced so these are a fab alternative if you don't want the actual actual piercing so pretty much all of these are from Scream Pretty they do some really really good ones this one's got pearls this one's twisted this one's got like little balls this one's got um oh this one's got jewels one of the jewels did fall out but you can't tell from far away and yeah they've got a little black jewel one and then a really thick bar type one as well which i really like those are all from screen pretty and then i have one from astrid and mew which is slightly different so these ones just have an open bit where you just hook on and the rest is a complete semicircle and then the this one has like a straight edged back which is just a little bit strange and I don't wear this one all that often I don't find it to be like as comfortable but it fits um it's just a little bit snug and this one was really expensive it was compared to the others anyway this one was super expensive as you can yeah it's just so snug so 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 snug Oh, there we go um uh so i don't really wear that one as often and this was the most expensive one so i wouldn't recommend buying this one i'd recommend buying the other ones just because this one was super expensive and i kind of don't see why it was that expensive i mean it's really pretty but i don't really understand the why i've spent that much on it i shouldn't have spent that much on it next up are rings so i get asked about my rings all the time because i wear them like often like in photos and stuff so i thought i would talk about my rings these first two rings are quite possibly my favourite rings to wear for photos, but they're not necessarily the most practical when you're out and about. So uh, these little lightning bolt rings, they're from Screen Pretty. I wear them in a lot of my photos. Um, I'll pop them here. And I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. I think stacked as well. They look really, really nice. They are also adjustable, so I can wear it as like a full ring. Then I can bring it up and make it smaller and wear it as like a midi ring. Or like I can make it bigger and put it on my thumb. So they're fully adjustable and you can put them on any finger, which I absolutely love, 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 love. The only thing is, is that the edges are quite sharp. So the edges of the adjustableness of the ring, they're quite sharp. So when I'm actually wearing them and it can dig into your finger, like if you move around or you catch your finger on something, it can hurt. <laughs> so they're not the most practical, but they are absolutely stunning. Love them. By the way, all of these rings are sterling silver, so none of them turn my finger green, which is like a main thing for me. When I was younger, I used to hate jewellery that made my fingers turn green, but it was all I could afford, like from um, Topshop or, you know, New Look or something. It was all I could afford. So um, nowadays, I really only stick to buying sterling silver if possible, unless it's like um, jewellery I'll wear on occasion. If I'm wearing jewellery every day, it has to be sterling silver. I can't have green fingers. It's a no from me. Right, okay, so I've had these two rings from Thomas Sabo forever. So I got them maybe like three or four years ago, and they're just two little stacking rings. One's like a little ball, bobble type ring, and one of them is like a spiral type woven ring. And I absolutely love them. I think they look so, so, so pretty and dainty. Really nice for everyday wear. They're so comfortable. I don't even feel like they're on my fingers. Love them. I also have one ring very similar from pandora it's just like a v-shaped ring really 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 pretty i absolutely love it again really comfortable and great for everyday wear i have two rings that came in a set from i think the brand's called wanderlust wanderlust i think the brand's called wanderlust and it came in a set and they're little green rings one of them's just a green gem on its own and one of them's green with blue purple and white and i get compliments on these rings all the time i love that they're a little set so you can wear them together on one finger 
or you can wear them one on each hand and they're just a cute little set. I love the colour, I get so many compliments on the green colour, people are always like wow that's a really interesting colour ring and it is, like I've never seen a uh, ring this colour so I really really like those. I also have two rings from Daisy Jewelry. These are two of my favourite like signet big thick rings, they're not the most comfortable rings to wear, like these are big rings and um, yeah they're not the most comfortable to wear, they're quite heavy but I love 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 the look of them. One of them I have is like a sun and moon and one of them is like just a moon and I got these to go on like my middle fingers and I really really like them, I love the colour, I think they're absolutely fantastic. I would say that on these, um, you'll probably see in the close-up, but they are wearing away. So the gold colour is wearing away significantly on the, sig the signet ring, and I've had that for maybe less than a year. This one I've had for a few months, and it's wearing away on the back, so the silver is showing. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, but you can't really tell when they're on, so... I think that's fine. Last but not least, I have a ring that I bought in Bali when I was there with Alex a year ago, two years ago? I can't remember how long ago we went now. But I picked this up because when I saw it in the shop, I was just like, oh, I fell completely in love with it. It is a thick signet ring with a black stone and little palm trees on, and it just reminds me so much of Bali. It's unreal. I absolutely love it it's so nice i don't wear this one all too often it isn't sterling silver it isn't gold it's some type of brass i think they said it was when we bought it and yeah i'm just a bit scared that it's gonna really wear and it has worn in some places and tarnished i think in some ways it looks better but because this is like a little memento type ring um i don't wear it all that often but it is like absolutely stunning and i love it i'm so glad i bought it it was a little bit pricey for barley prices but i'm glad i bought it it bought it off a little boutique and yeah i really really love that one just for like for like a nostalgic reason Right, so all my chunky jewellery is costume jewellery, so it's all from like high street stores and will tarnish over time. So I have this one for example for, that I bought from Topshop like not too long ago. I really liked the fact that it was one type of chain on one side and another type of chain on the other. I really really like it, it's very cool and yeah as you can see. Um, I really really like it, it's very me, I love that it's all chunky, it looks really nice with like a high neck but it is like starting to tarnish and erode a little bit but it's not too bad, like I can still wear it. I also have this one from Nasty Girl, it's a lock type necklace, I think that's what you'd say it is and yeah I really really like this one, I always get compliments on this one as well and it was like five pounds so um, yeah really really love that one. I also have some chunky jewellery, um, you'll probably see me wear these in Instagram pictures but I always get compliments on them and ask where I got like these bracelets, they're not bracelets, they are anklets, so I bought them from H&M so they're anklets, so they do sit like quite big on my wrist, like if I was to do them up they are very big, um, but I like the fact that I can use them as anklets and bracelets so they kind of work both ways and they're just a little bit little bit too big as bracelets but that doesn't really bother me I think it still looks really cute love those really inexpensive but they look so good and everyone always asks me where I get them from so love that and then I also have this little shell bracelet as well which I also use as an anklet so yeah that's all my like costume jewelry and I would say that sometimes buying on the high street for things is better when you're not going to wear them all the time and get them tarnished or you're just looking for one specific piece that you can't find anywhere else. Um, you could definitely find some really, really good pieces on the high street as well. Right, okay. So let's get on to dainty necklaces. I have a lot of dainty necklaces. It's my sort of thing. I love it. I love layering. Okay, so six of my dainty necklaces are from Daisy Jewelry. So let's have a look. So the first one here is a little fossil. I really really like this one for layering, I think it's really cute, I don't actually wear this one as much as I thought I would, um, I'm not sure why, I don't know if it's just too small or, um, but every time I wear it I like it but it's not like my go to, but I really really think it's cute, I love the fossil, one thing I really liked when I was little was paleontology and geology so that's why I picked this one up and I think it is really really cute I should probably wear it more I also have this one from Daisy as well so this one matches the little 
um, earrings that I showed you earlier that are like the shell earrings. It is just this big pendant necklace with the shell and I really really like it. It's a big chunky shell as well, like it's very thick and big. I really like the chain as well. It's a really nice statement piece but if you're going to layer a few different chains that are a little bit more like dainty, this one's really nice to add a little bit of statement to it as well. This was my first daisy necklace and it is looking a little bit tarnished. I'm wondering if I can clean it in some sort of way to get the colour back but I had this from a long time ago, I think it was probably about two or three years now and it's the sundial necklace, I can't remember when this one came out actually but I've had it for ages, this was my first daisy necklace and the front of it is now a little bit worn and a little bit tarnished, I, yeah I'm wondering how I could possibly clean it or if I could possibly clean it but um, I still love it, I still think it's really cute, I don't think anyone would actually be able to tell from like far away that it's tarnished because like, I can't but then I don't have the best eyesight so um, I still really like it, I really love this one, this is the one that made me fall in love with daisy jewellery in general so love that one and then I also have three necklaces from their floral collection. One is the orchid, one is the bird of paradise, and one is the daisy. So I have those three as well. They look really cute on their own or together. I really, really like them. I particularly like these two. These are the daisy and bird of paradise necklaces because the chains they come with are also really, really cute. And you could totally take the charm off and wear it as like a plain chain as well because the chain is itself so pretty but i really like the way that these floral the floral collection look i really like the balance between the femininity of the flowers and then the chunkiness of the gold i think and the chain as well i really like that juxtaposition and i love all three pieces i think that they're absolutely stunning this is also a golden oldie i've had this for absolutely ages still love it probably should wear it more to be honest with you it is from Thomas Sabo and it's just one of their long gold chains and a charm so this one has the charm holder so that's this bit and then the bottom is just the charm and the charm I have is the Capricorn charm so it's a bit glitzy and I used to wear this literally every day but since I've gone for like a more minimal look I don't wear this one as much but I still love it, it I've had it for like three or four years and there's not a single sign of, of tarnishing at all it looks like I have got this yesterday, it looks absolutely phenomenal. It probably was the most pricey piece out of all of this, I think, but I think it's worth it. It is gorgeous and it hasn't aged a day and I think that is absolutely amazing. This one is definitely one you guys have seen on Instagram. It's a little dot chain and my little A on it. And people always ask me what the A is for and I sort of guess the A is for my surname, Athian, so the A is for that. And then I also tell Alex the A is for him, so the A is for both Athian, my surname, and Alex. So I really, really like this one. Again, it's from Lily Charmed, the same people that did the heart, um, the heart, the same people that did the H earrings. It's fully customizable, so you can put any letters you want on here or charms. And yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's called the satellite chain. I think that's what they called this, not a dot chain, I think it's called a satellite chain. I'll leave links down below anyway, but I love this one. If I'm not wearing these, I'll if I'm not wearing this chain, I'll usually wear this with that. So I wear this one an awful, awful lot. So I also have this little chain, and I used to wear this all the time as well. So the chain itself is from Thomas Sabo, from another necklace. And the little charm, I can't for the life of me remember the, the brand's name. No, it's still not coming to me. I can't for the life of me remember the brand's name, but I absolutely love, love, love this necklace. It's personalised. So on one side it says peach and the other it says pie and it like flips around so you can see both of the sides. And yeah, I got it to say peach pie because that's what I call Alex. I call Alex my little peach pie. So yeah, I just thought this was a lovely customisable necklace. I think this is a great gifting choice because you can put like personalised so you can have for instance their, their name on one side and maybe their nickname on the other. I got peach pie just for Alex but yeah you could put anything you want on here. I think it's just a wonderful little gifting opportunity and I love this necklace because it's personalised and it means something which I love. Right okay guys so that is pretty much 
my jewelry collection that I'm currently like switching in and out of at the moment. I hope you enjoy this video. I get asked all the time where my jewelry is from, so hopefully now I can just direct people to this video. Um, yeah, I thought I hope you guys found it helpful and. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite piece is in the comment section down below. Would be very interested to hear your opinions. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.